Hey everyone, it's Laura Myers for Seamus Connected and I'm here at Acquia Engage and I'm here with Chris Stone, the Chief Products Officer at Acquia. I was in your session yesterday where you talked about the new Acquia journey, so why don't you kind of go through that a little bit for our audience and what's exciting about it? Sure. Do you want to hold that or you want me to hold it? I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we had the idea for this, interestingly enough, uh, almost two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Dries and I were in New York City and we were riding on the uh, Asila train back from New York to Boston, and Dries whips out his uh, iPad, and we started drawing pictures. Uh, it wasn't a napkin, it was on an iPad. And was it like Etch-a-Sketch style? Yeah, it was kind of, it was, it was exactly what it was. And for like two and a half hours, we, uh, we kept discussing what do we do next, right? Yeah. And when you think about our position in, in the marketplace, it's all about content, right? Mm -hmm. People call us kings of content with Drupal and, uh, and the way we manage it. So the next thing you want to do is manage content and data together. Yeah. And you could, you could continue to write connectors for your entire life or work with third parties, et cetera, to try to connect data with content, or you could try to orchestrate it yourself. Yeah. And when I say yourself, I mean Acquia. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, that was the genesis of all this. We we sort of talked about it and drafted it on the on the train back to Boston, and that was sort of the beginning of all right. How are we going to actually orchestrate an omni-channel experience mm -hmm. uh, using the data we collect from CRM systems, commerce systems, et cetera? This is an age-old problem. Uh, and then how are we going to marry that with all the content that we na now manage and govern yeah. for all of our customers? And that was. Where the idea came That's from. That's where it all came from. And uh, here we are, two and a half years later, although we, although we only started really writing code about six months ago, mm -hmm. uh, but we had to think it all through and how is it all going to come together, put the resources planning, resource planning in place, et cetera. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the genesis of it. Now, it's not just, and I'm not, don't, don't get me wrong, it isn't just the two of us because we're, you know, anything special. Mm -hmm. It's just somebody has to think of how to put it together. Yeah. Uh, this whole notion of, of journey mapping is not new. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been done on a whiteboard for 35 years, yeah. right, or 100 years. But from a digital agency perspective or people who are t or marketing departments that are trying to put together their customer journey, if you will, to convert, you know, a lead to money in the, as an example, um, it's really been that. It's been that. Uh, simple model is just draw it on a whiteboard. Yeah. And so so all we're trying to do is figure out the simplest way and the most uncomplicated way to put that into software. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I liked about was you brought in kind of the different experts to talk about the pieces yesterday. Yeah. So you had the data scientists and other people and I really liked how they could really go in depth yeah. with those pieces. So you also launched a recent integration with Node.js. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that as well? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> as you know, uh, we have been hosting and supporting and governing Drupal uh, for you know almost 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Actually, the cloud development was about eight years ago, seven, eight years ago, um, long before Amazon had much to offer. Mm -hmm. you know, it was really just a bunch of compute power and place to store stuff. Yeah. And so we've done very well as a company, as everybody not, knows, with, uh, with that model of supporting and governing Drupal. Most of our customers, though, are our, many of our large customers and most of our partners write applications uh, using now JavaScript. Mm -hmm. JavaScript will be your front end environment. So they're decoupling, or you've heard the, all these terms, decoupling and headless and et cetera. Uh, and they want to be able to have the freedom to generate and develop their UI separate from back end processing, so to speak. Yeah. And that's basically what Node is all about. Mm -hmm. It gives you that capability. I'd say probably 50% of most of the new. Uh, digital properties that are being developed or applications are node-based. Mm -hmm. And so node runs on the back end or runs in the cloud uh, as a, it's an old, I won't go to the techie stuff, a Google V8 engine, but primarily uh, it gives you the flexibility to separate what you want the user interface and the front end to look like mm -hmm. from the back end. And then couple that with Drupal, yeah. uh, the fact that we, you know, we've been building sites and you've got all this content. So again, it's this whole marrying data and content, marrying applications with Drupal. Mm -hmm. So it, it's the same theme yeah. that we talked about earlier with Journeys. It's just now this is all from a cloud perspective mm -hmm. uh, and integrating our customers and partners' applications into Drupal or running it by themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much why we did it. 
and it's also trend. You know, I'm old, <laughs> and we used to call it client server computing. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Uh, all over again, just with different tools and a different model and different mindset. Mm -hmm. so. What would you say would be the biggest advantages of um, Acquia clients using these things? Uh, it's all from one place. Mm -hmm. um, many large customers want that single throat to choke, right? yeah. that customer support model. So that's important for them. Mm -hmm. So for us to, they, they had already been building these applications using Node.js and, and JavaScript frameworks. So it was more of a, you know, let's do what the customer wants. Yeah. Uh, that's always a good idea. <laughs> good starting point. <laughs> it wasn't just techie. And, and, uh, and the partners had been driving us in that direction, mm -hmm. too. So it was very much, it was probably the, in the top ten of all the things that our partners and customers have been asking us to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, so, the thing that they both wanted the most. Yeah, everybody wanted. That's awesome. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for your insight today. That was great. You're welcome.